Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I welcome you in this place. I acknowledge your presence in this place. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Evelyn, you're welcome. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You will shall die. And that is why we worship you. You are Elenia. Evelyn, thank you for joining us, Evelyn. You're welcome. So glad to have you join us. That's why we worship you. You are alien. That's why we worship you. For you are who we say you are. Shaddai. And that is why we worship you. You are who you say you are El Shaddai. That's why we worship you. You are who you say you are El Shaddai. El Shaddai. That's why we worship you. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed, Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Adonai 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 the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Adonai Adonai Elohim Adonai Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, Elohim Adonai, Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, Elohim Adonai, 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for yet another edition, another live session. Lord, I thank you for each and everyone that will be joining us today. I thank you for those who are to come later to replay. I thank you, Lord, for your word that you are about to send forth. I thank you in advance for the prayers and the answers to the prayers that we are about to pray here. I thank you for your manifest presence. I thank you because you are about to touch someone. I thank you because you are about to change something about someone's life i thank you because someone's life is about to get better father i thank you because you are about to meet the desires of somebody thank you lord because someone is about to catch a revelation that will change their lives here today father i thank you holy spirit i acknowledge your presence here my senior partner holy spirit i acknowledge your presence here. Take absolute control over this live session. When I open my mouth, Holy Spirit, feel it. Touch someone through me. I'm just a vessel in your hand. Minister to someone through me. Oh, Lazikaliana, Holy Spirit, transform a life through me. Transform a marriage through me. Transform someone's destiny through me. Eliana Barasianda, I'm not here on my own accord. I'm here, Lord, on your behalf, as a vessel in your hand. Use me the way you want and not the way I want. Use me to reach out to your people any way you want, any magnitude you want. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, family. Thank you for joining us. You're all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Please do leave a comment as you're joining us. Do leave a comment. Let us know who is joining. Evelyn, always a pleasure having you, ma'am. Thank you. Come on, family. I want to give you a shout out. Just leave a comment. Let me give you a shout out. Let me acknowledge you. Let, at least let the Holy Spirit know you are here. You are not stealing the live session. You are here present. You are here fully present. Hallelujah. Oh, Patricia, thank you for joining us, Patricia Harris. I was just thinking of you yes, right now as I sat here. Because you asked a question yesterday, and I was like, okay, I just thought to myself that I need to correct something so that we don't misunderstand what we are talking about. I don't know if you were there the first day we talked about desire, but we've started, we, 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 we have been dealing with desire and God fulfilling your desire in the past few days. Now, take note, we've been talking about a core desire in your life. Because we have many desires. And we are talking about the desire that is put in you by God. A desire that is in line with the will of God and the purpose of God for your life. We, we've been talking. Okay, you were here, then that's better. So as I, as I explain, you are going to understand. So we are not just talking about any desire. Like I desire to have sex with my neighbor. And then you are saying God will fulfill all your desire. I desire to have a private jet right now because I know that that desire cannot be fulfilled. Or if God answers, it's not every prayer that God answers. You, you, you desire to. No, we are not talking about. So we can have desires that are a function of our flesh. There are desires that are a function of our flesh. They are, or in other words, they are carnal desires. But these are not the kind of desires that we are dealing with. We are dealing with divine desires that have been put in there by God. The kind that Philippians 2.13 says, it is God that causes us to will and to do. He, it is God, according to his good pleasure, the desires that are put in us by God. Desires that are put in us by God. And it's not talking about all the desires. It's talking about a desire. If you feel like we are, we, we are here to meet all your petty needs around, then you might live here not re 
receiving. We are talking about a major desire that God puts in your heart. We look at Hannah. Hannah wanting to, to, to have a son because God needed a prophet. So God stayed off. So Hannah had been contented with her husband's love. Thank you for joining us, everyone. If you are just coming, please leave a comment. The Lord bless you abundantly. This is Pastor Honoring with Purpose and Marita. Please just join us and fasten your seatbelt. We are about to take I'm about to take you on a long ride. A very pleasant ride. Hallelujah. So we are talking about Hannah being contented with the love of her husband, whereas God was preparing her to carry a prophet. So God needs a prophet and Hannah needs a son. So at some point, Hannah realizes that the love of her husband is obstructing. So God stirs up the desire for the son and, 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 and stirs up Penina to, to, to provoke her, to mock her about, about her childlessness so that Hannah... They has a strong desire, this strong desire that makes her to push the plate of food away. This strong desire that makes her to, to, to feel like, I can't come to Shiloh this year and go back the same. I want to carry my own child. The kind of desire that would make Hannah to go back and tell uh, Lee Hannah Manasiana, uh, to, to, to tell God that if you give me a son, I will give him to you. Then God, God took my husband and I through a season. We went through years of difficulty and, and it got to a point I told God I told God I said Father if you bless me whatever you bless me with Father I will partner with your kingdom Father I just want you to take me out of this process take me out of poverty and I promise I will partner with your kingdom every project that you have in your house I will be a part of it and my tithes will not be 10% as you lift me up my tithes will increase from 10% to 20% to 30% as, as you keep adding the zeros to my to, 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 to my income, my, 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 my tithes will be increasing too. There, there is a desire, there is a, and the moment I got to that point where it was no longer about me, it wasn't long, it was no more about, uh, about God provide for me, provide for my family. Father, provide me with this. Father, I need a car. Father, I need a house. Father, I need this. When it got to a point where I had, where the desire for me to get rich had gone beyond me. And I didn't just want to. And I was telling God that I will, I will take care of your children. When, I, when, someone, when, when you give me an instruction to bless someone, I will bless them. I will obey you. It's no more about me. I want to spread my tentacles. And the moment I got to that point, God says, I've been waiting for you to get here. And then the financial doors began to open. And then I realized that sometimes God would allow you like he allowed Hannah in barrenness. Not because he doesn't have what it takes to give her a child. God would allow me in poverty. Not because he doesn't have what, in, what it takes to change my life. But because he wants me to come to a point he needs a kingdom financier i need financial breakthrough he needs a prophet hannah needs a son so we are talking about a desire a particular desire that is put in the inside of you another example with my life is the desire to save souls is the desire that people should not die should not perish the desire to preach the word of god I got to a point and I looked at my life. The experience that God made born again was the fact that I lost my child. And it was such a painful experience. But that experience was a life-changing experience for me. Because God told me that child did not come but die premature. Because it was in the course of that pregnancy that my husband and I became born again. And, uh, uh, and it was because we were going through some challenges, some very many difficult challenges during the pregnancy. So when I lost the child, when we finally lost the child, I was so devastated. And then God told us that he, the child did not die premature. But the child came to, brought, to, to bring us to him, to draw us back to himself. And it was because of that child that you see me sitting here today. 
as a pastor. So God needed a pastor. And I wanted to just care about my life. I was more concerned about hustling. I didn't care about God. And, and, and God decided to just allow some things happen. God didn't take, it wasn't God sent, but it was God used. And I told myself, I began to tell God, say, Father, I will not want another person to get to lose a child before they become saved. I don't want another person to get to go through the difficulties before they become saved and i told god to give me a, a the anointing to win souls give me the anointing to preach your gospel and that's how i became a pastor that's how i became passionate about the word of god that's how we that's why we are today tomorrow and forever when i talk about god when i preach the word of god you see as i'm sitting here i can do this all day i don't get tired because that is and the moment i became that I, my desire to save souls was strong. I started realizing that God was facilitating it. I started realizing that God was talking to me. I started realizing that when I opened the Bible, I, I, God gives me revelations. Come on, if you are just joining us, the Lord bless you. Please do leave a comment. Let's know who is there. And family, please like, the, like a video. So today we are talking about a desire. A desire that was instigated by God. Yes, I do have other things I desire. I have things I desire. I, Of course, I desire to have a better house, a better car. I desire all those things. But I'm not here today to talk about every other thing I desire. I'm here to talk about a desire. A one, one desire that I have, that I know that God has put in the inside of me. My desire right now is not anything, is that my recovery should be hastened so I can go back to full-time pastoring. Oh, Ras, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. My desire right now is that I recover speedily from the surgery I had so I can go back to full-time pastoring. So that is a desire that God put in the inside of me. God stayed it up because God wants me to, to go back to full-time pastoring. God wants me to do his work. That is the desire. And each and every one of us, we have a desire that God has put in the inside. Sometimes you neglect it. Sometimes you reject it. Sometimes you shut you, you, you shut your ears to it. So I may have things that I want, but many desires that are just a function of the flesh. I'm here today talking about a desire that is a function of divinity. A desire that is stayed in your inside by God. A desire that God has put in the inside of you for a particular purpose. Today we are going to be looking at John chapter 20 from verse 19 to verse 29. Oh, come on, family. The Lord bless you all. Come on. I'm trying to preach. Come on, someone. Encourage me. Just well, just say, woman of God, shalom. Just, just say something. Just say something. Just be like Evelyn and Ras. John chapter 20 from verse 19 to verse, to verse 29. Help me with the scripture, Evelyn. So Patricia, you understand the, the kind of desire we are talking about. We are not talking about every other desire. We are not talking, I know your desire. And you should, what you should desire first, before house and car and all of that. If you don't even have a source of income, that should be your first desire. Desire that God gives you something to do with your hands. And that God blesses the works of your hand. Desire that God gives you something that can give you yes. God says you ah, are the Bible says as after God created man the, the, the man the very next thing was that God blessed him God blessed him you should have a channel through which God can bless you so that should be your first desire through that desire every other thing will come Martha thank you for joining us Martha the Susa thank you for joining us the Lord bless you Oh, thank you so much for joining us. So, Patricia, you are going to correct your desire in this session. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Evelyn, for the scripture. It says, on the evening of that first day, on the evening of that first day of, a, of the week, 
when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Take note that Jesus appears to the Lord, to, to the disciples, and then he presents, he tells them, peace be with you, and then he presents the hands that were nailed, and then the side, the side that, that, that was pierced with a, with a spear. As evidence to prove to the disciples that indeed this is Jesus. He gives that as evidence to prove to the disciples that indeed this is Jesus. So they saw it, they believed it's Jesus, and they were overjoyed. Let's continue. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now, Thomas, this is a part of the story now. It says, now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, Didymus means the twin, one of the twelve was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, unless I see the nail mark in his hands and put my fingers where the nails were, and put my hand onto his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them this time around. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them, and said, Peace be with you. Take not who Jesus stands to. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. See, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you believe. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Hallelujah. Now, when every time we talk about Thomas, every time we mention Thomas, it is we, we, we remember that he's doubting, that he's the one that doubted. As a matter of fact, we even call him doubting Thomas. So that when someone doubts something that God ha, that God has said. They call him doubting, they call them doubting, doubting Thomas. But to me, I don't think Thomas was really doubting. I think Thomas had a desire. He comes back. How the disciples forgot so soon that the reason why they were filled with joy was because Jesus appeared to them and showed them his hands and his side. That was the encounter that made them overjoyed. That was the encounter that made them believe that indeed this is Jesus. That was the encounter they had. So that when Jesus was telling them, Jesus said, as the Father sent me, so am I sending you. They could go willingly and happily because they've had a life-changing encounter. But Thomas was not there. Thomas did not see it. Jesus never showed it to Thomas. So when Thomas comes back and hears all these testimonies, he says, I so want to believe you, but I need my own encounter. 
You guys saw every you, you had the evidence. The encounter gave you the evidence that it was Jesus. The encounter gave you the propelling power to go when Jesus, wherever Jesus sends you. But I need I desire to have my own encounter. I desire to have my own encounter. I desire to see Jesus too for myself. I desire to feel what you feel on his hand. I desire to feel what you feel on his side. Thomas says, I need my own encounter. I desire my own encounter. And even though that thing is not good, and even though Jesus said, more blessed is the one who believes without seeing. But Jesus says, Thomas has a desire. And this desire is a godly desire. This desire is a desire that is for my glory. Because when he sees me and he believes, then he is going to go when I send him. And he's going to his faith. He's going to be built to become the apostle that I made him to be. So Jesus says his desire is too strong. And I can't stay here. I must attend to Thomas. Jesus says his desire is so strong. It called my attention. I started telling us yesterday that the, about desire that is so strong, it causes Jesus to stop. Well, we, we saw the woman with the issue of blood. We saw blind Bartimaeus, people whose desire for healing was so strong that Jesus had to stop because they are uh, they backed up their desire with action with 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 with, with, with action with with actions of faith. They backed up their desires with actions of faith. But I came today to talk about someone that made a prayer, someone that spoke to God. Thomas said it aloud. He says, I will only believe when I see it. I don't know who is making a prayer like Hannah. And he's saying, I desire, this is what I desire, Lord. The Bible says you, you have not because you ask not. I came today for someone whose desire has been pushing them to pray. For someone whose desire has been pushing them to say, Father, until you do this, then I will believe you. I came for someone that God is at the verge of sending. God is at the verge of giving you. You are at the verge of an assignment. And God is, uh, uh, and you have a desire. And you are telling God, Father, give me one more sign. Give me a confirmation and I will follow you. Father, show me a sign that ah, uh, Liana Kabarasiana. My father always says at some point, he put God down and he said, Father, you've got to prove to me that if I follow you, if I leave every other thing and commit my life to you, you are not going to frustrate me. I'm just a young man still trying to find my way. I desire to serve you, but you've got to promise me, give me the assurance that you won't frustrate me. And I once told God the same thing. See, see Father, pastoring is difficult. I don't want to live out of the generosity of the people, out of whether someone felt in their heart like to give an offering. I don't want to live based on the fact that someone decided to bless me or not. I don't want to, and I have a family, I have a life, I, I have things I want to do for the kingdom of God. If I'm to be a pastor, you've got to give me an assurance. I desire to be pastor, but you've got to give me an assurance, I pray you God, that I will not end up frustrated you've got to give me an assurance that I will not end up frustrated and God told me one thing he said can you put your life into my hands and trust that you've put your life in good hands and I say yes father I can do that he said this is a walk of faith so you've got to step out in faith and give me your all and I said that there's a father this life is for you my marriage is for you my children are for you this life is for your kingdom my family is for your kingdom I live to serve you because I had a desire for an assurance the moment God said that I had that conviction in the in the inside of me that if I give me his give him my life I've put my life in good hands Thomas says father I want to serve you I want to commit my life to you but I need to see what the other disciples saw I need to be able to touch you the way the other disciples touch you. I need to have this excitement about what happened to you, the way they have it. They're telling me the story with all the, 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 the passion. But I need to see what they saw that gave that sponsor that, that passion in them. Father, I want to. It's not like I don't want to serve you. No, I want to serve you. I want to be, I don't want to, to, to be rejected from among the twelve. I want to be a part of the twelve. 
but I missed out on something. I'm sorry I was not there when you came the first time. But Father, if only by your mercy, you get to give me a second chance that I may see what the other disciples saw. I desire to touch you the way they touched you. I desire to feel you the way they feel you. I desire to have the encounter that they had that put this joy in the inside of them. And Jesus says, ah, Thomas, your, your desire is uh, has a good foundation. Your desire has a good motive. So even though blessed are the people that believe without seeing, I have got to honor your desire because it is not selfish. Your desire is the kind that I like. It is for your good and for my good. It is a partnership. It is for your good and for my good. I came today for someone that has a desire. And that desire is for your good and for God's good. That desire is for your good and for the glory of God. That desire is for your good and for the kingdom of God. Come on, I'm preaching better than you are responding. I'm preaching better than someone is responding. Come on. Kaliana Barasiana. There's someone here. The reason why you've been praying for marriage for so long is because you need your marriage for yourself. Oh, Chris, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Sometimes we pray some prayers. Oh, the Bible tells us in the book of James, he says you pray and you do not receive because you pray with the wrong motive. You pray some prayers and you don't receive the answer because the motive, the motive, the motive was too personal. The motive was too personal. You want your marriage because you want to, to, to prove to the world that you too can be married. You want to get married because you are hungry for sex. You want, uh, you want God to give you, to bless you financially. Because, uh, be, 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 because you, need, you, you need to keep your, you need to live a good life. You want God to bless you financially. And God is saying, I want to bless you. But I need for your motive. To, 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 to add me to it. Let your motive be such, be genuinely a motive that puts, that pleases you and pleases me. Because I want this to be a partnership. So God will not give you marriage simply because you are hungry for sex that is not fornication. No, God will give you marriage because you want your marriage to be for the king, a model kingdom marriage. You want to, uh, you, 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 you want your husband, you and your husband, or, or you and your wife, to be a kingdom couple that would win souls of Christ and we serve God in every way that God wants you to serve them, to, to, to serve him. And God says, now you need marriage for the wrong motive, for the, for, for the right motive. You, you, you have the right desire. I believe all along Hannah would, would have desired a child and Hannah was saying maybe, Father, give me a child. Let Penina also know I can have children. God bless me with a child because I need for Penina to know that I am not barren. Bless me with a child. Let my husband know that I am not another man in this marriage. God bless me with a child. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Oh, I'm trying the best I can, Martha. I believe there were times that Penina would, 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 would mock at Hannah and Hannah would enter and cry and say, Father, I am hurt. Just give me a child. Let me just prove to Penina that this womb is not completely dead. This womb can carry a child. Oh, for, and I believe there were days that Elkanah's mom came and, uh, uh, and gave the mother-in-law kind of talk. And Anna says, Father, give me a child. Let me prove to my mother-in-law that I too can carry a child. That I am not another man. That his son didn't marry another man. And God says, you didn't, you have, you, your motive is not right yet. Uh, and, and he got to a point. And she said, Father, if you give me a son, I'll give it back to you. And God says, you are right where this is. All along, I have been wanting to give you a child. But I I needed for your motive to be made right. All along, I have been wanting to bless you. But I needed, let me make something clear to you. What God can do tomorrow, he has what it takes to do.
do it today. The marriage God can give to you next year, he has what it takes to give it to you this year. The financial breakthrough that you can have next year, God has what it takes to make you a millionaire this year. But what is sponsoring your desire for wealth? God is saying you've got to align. You've got to align. You've got to align. You've got to align. Haliana Barasi Brashaka. Lizi Kabala Rushaka Liana Barusa. Hannah was saying, Father, give me a child. So that my husband will not find a second wife. And the child didn't come. And the husband found a second wife. Oh, thank you, thank you, Martha. And then Hannah says, Father, look at the second wife. She just came and she gives birth every year. How can she be giving birth every year asking just for a child? Just prove to her that I am not completely barren. I know my husband loves me, but prove to this woman that I too can carry a child. And God says, sweetheart, you have, you have not got it yet. And someone is saying that I've been praying and fasting for a job and God has not given me a job. And God is saying that I tested you when I blessed you with little. I made a demand for something in my kingdom. You heard me well, but you denied to answer. What's the guarantee that when I put the wealth in your hands, you are going to prosper the gospel? And God is saying, daughter of Zion, son of Zion, I need for your desire to be aligned so that as it pleases you, should, so should it please me. So that when the blessing comes, the blessing should bless you and bless my kingdom as well. And I believe it came to a point and Hannah's barrenness was the only, was the insult that everyone used to insult her. Lihana Kali Kareso Brasha. And God and, and she says, Father, now it is not just Penina that is mocking me. But Father, everyone is insulting me. Every year I come to Shiloh. Please, as I'm coming, give me a child. Let the world know that you are still in the business of giving children. And God says, You still haven't gotten the right motive. But it's coming. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And then she got, and then God, as, as, as the years went by, God was increasing, stirring the desire in her, stirring the desire until it got to a point that she had, she needed the child, but she just wanted to have a child. And she couldn't with, withhold the child from, she couldn't withhold the child from God. And she said, if you give me this child, I'll give him back to you. And God says, that is what I wanted. I wanted you to get to a place where you can give me my profit. I wanted you to get to a place where your motive and for your desire is godly and divine. Someone, God is saying he has been hearing the prayers you have been praying. But the only reason why the prayer was not answered was because the motive was not aligned. As I talk to you right now, someone begin to genuinely talk to God from your heart. Tell God I'm sorry. Father, I'm sorry. The reason why I needed that breakthrough, it was all for me and not for your kingdom. The reason why I needed marriage was all for me. The reason I needed that healing was all for me and not for your kingdom. Father, the reason why I need to be healed and to fully recover is not for me. It's so I can be bet I can better serve serve your people. I can be a better servant to your kingdom. Father, the reason someone begin to align your, your, your desire, begin to align your desire, begin to fix your motive. Someone you you that thing you have been praying for, that job you have been praying for. Let God know that the motive is right. Let God know, genuinely make her, write it down, whatever decision you take today. Like Hannah entered into a covenant and said, give me a son, I'll give it back. And God said, by this time next year, you have a son. And when Hannah got the son, she remembered her promise, her covenant, and she brought it back. 
write down a covenant and tell God, make it so clear, tell God, say, Father, if you give me this, if you answer this prayer, I in return will do this for you. Father, answer this prayer and I will do this for you. Father, answer this prayer. Give me a godly kingdom spouse and we will serve you. We will win souls for you. We will pray for other marriages. We will, uh, we will be an example to your, for your kingdom that marriages still work. Father, use my husband and I. Give me a marriage and use my husband and I. I don't know what you've been desiring. I don't know what you've been praying for. But I came today to tell you God wants to, de to, to meet that desire. God wants to answer that desire. This is the time where you align. Fix your motive. Someone just begin to fix your motive. Just begin to fix your motive. As I pray someone, God is aligning your motive. God is telling you, this is exactly the reason why I want to bless you. I don't want to bless you so that you can have a luxurious life. I want to bless you so you can partner with the ministry, with the work of God, with the kingdom of God. Someone, as I pray for you, God is correcting your motive. God is telling you why he wants you to have that job. Why he wants you to get that good job. Why he wants to make you a millionaire. God is telling you why he wants to heal you. God is telling you why he's encouraging you through the difficult times. It's so that you can in turn encourage others. Someone you went through some hard times. And God is saying it was so that you can be able to encourage others through their difficult times. Every predicament I've ever been through. And trust me, I've been through a lot of hard times. I've, I know what it means to go through pain. I know what it means to suffer. I know what it means. But every time someone sits before me and they are desperate for a word from God. Someone sits before me and, and they are at the verge of giving up. My experiences are enough encouragement to let God, to let them know that God is a good God. I can, I, I use my life to, to encourage someone and tell someone, I might have gone through this, but God carried me through. And this is me still sitting here. This is me still strong and healthy. This is me still serving God. God has been faithful. I, I went through this and this, but God was faithful. Come on, this good word, no one has been motivated to even drop an offering and say, woman of God, you are preaching too good. Come on, am I not preaching that good to, for someone? I, 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 the, the, the experiences you've been through, I've been to encourage someone, and God is saying until you realize it and know, And know exactly why you had to go through, why you desire to get out of that predicament, until you desire to know. Aliya nakabara sihanda, li zuka baru shaka, liya nabara sihanda baru shaka liya nabara siana. Until your desire. God says he can become what you say, he, what you want him to become. He can become that which you desire. He can become that which you want him to be. He aliyana kabara sihanda balarusha. Zika barasiana balarusha kaliana barasiana. Li zika barasiana. Oh, Moses asked God, I don't know what you want to hear. Colin, I don't know what you desire to hear. I don't know what you want to hear. But I'm not here to argue or tell you, but let me tell you something. The Bible tells me how Moses encountered God. And it says, when you are sending me back to, to, to Egypt, Lord, so who do I tell? Pharaoh that sent me and he said when you go tell Pharaoh that the I am that I am sent you the I am that I am sent you when you are ah, Lizzie Cabarasiana Lizzo Cabaru Shakaliana Barasi Brahanda Leru Shakaliana and what he means by that he's saying I am that I am. I can become. I can become whoever you need me to be. The I am, it means the one who 
from the all sufficient God. The all sufficient God. He says he has every time you had you desire something that is in line with the word of God. That is a point that, that God wants to reveal an aspect of his life to you. Let me prove it to you. At some point, Abraham says, Ah, says, Father, all these blessings you are giving me, but my mate is going to be the one that 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 my mate is going to be the one. He says, all that you have, everything that you have, that you have told me, my maid is going to be the one who, He says, my maid is going to be the one who one of my servants is going to inherit, to inherit all of these things. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Evelyn. I, I, I was instead scared that maybe in trying to to remove someone who was disturbing, I removed you. That's what I was trying to check. So Abraham tells God, you are blessing me and giving me all these blessings, but I don't have a son. My maid is going to be the one who inherits all of this. And God says, no, I am going to give you a son. I'm going to give you a son. And at some point, God makes a demand. Ada, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. I'm going to. And at some point, God gives a demand, makes a demand for Abraham to sacrifice the son that he so badly desired. And God was saying, I don't. In other words, God was saying, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want the, the blessing. To replace me in your life. I don't want you to value the blessing more than the one who blessed you. And, and, and when Abraham went to sacrifice the child. That was when God shot himself. As, as Jehovah Jireh. The God that will provide. Every time you are in need. Every time you have a desire. It says it's an indication that the I am wants to become that which you desire. He wants when Hannah needs a child, God wants to prove it to show himself to Anna, to Hannah as the, as the God that provides children. Oh, when blind Bartimaeus needs his sight, God will appear to him as the God that gives sight. Your desire will give you the will reveal to you the dimension of God. But first, you've got to make your motive right. First, you've got to make your motive right. Someone, I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for you right now. Let your motive be made right, just like Thomas. Thomas placed a demand so that he may see the hands, that he may have the encounter that every he desired so badly to encounter Jesus the way all the other disciples had encountered Jesus and Jesus appeared just for him he showed up just for just for Thomas he says i'm here just for you Thomas because when your desire matches with God's plan for your life when your desire is in line with God's plan for your life when your desire matches God's plan for your life God cannot help it but come just for you. Someone, Jesus says, I want to come for you. I've been hearing your prayers. I just want your desire to be aligned. Just fix your motive. Let your desire not just profit you. Let it profit my kingdom too. Let, uh, let your desire profit you and profit me. 
God is telling me to tell someone, you just need to fix your motive that your desire should profit you and profit me. I want to meet that desire right now. I want to appear here, show up for you, just the same way I showed up for, for, for Thomas. It wasn't right that Thomas did not believe, but his desire was valid. So Jesus could not turn a blind eye. Jesus had to show up, come on someone. Who am I talking to? You've had this desire for so long. It's now the time for you to talk to him. He is right there with you right now. He can hear you. It's time for you to make your promise. Make a covenant with him. I want to pray for you. God sent me here. Aliya na barasi kaliya na barusha, li zeka balarusha kaliya na, zika barasi anda barusha ka, lahi ana manaka la rasi ana, li zeka barusha kaliya na barasi ana. There are twenty people, twenty people listening to me right now, and God says as you align your desire to His will, He is, He is. He is granting it speedily. He is coming for you, just for you. I don't know who the 20 are, God. I don't know who is among these 20. We have more than 46 people following us. Come on, family, begin to give the video a thumbs up. Begin to connect yourself. Tell God, let God know I are one of the 20. God, there are 20 people right here, right now. And God is saying, I want to fulfill that desire. I want to fulfill that desire. I want to fulfill that desire. The Bible tells us that uh, on the eighth day, after Thomas made the request, after Thomas said he wants to see Jesus himself, and he wants to put his fingers where he put where the nails were, and he wants to touch the side that was pierced. The Bible says on the eighth day, God says there are 20 people here. Within the next eight days, you are going to see your desires come to pass. Within the next eight days, you will see a divine intervention in that situation. I don't know who is hearing me. I don't know who is among the 20 people. I don't know who is among the 20 people. I don't know whose faith is saying, God, I am among them. Who I don't know who is saying, God, I am among them. I am correcting my motive right now. I'm fixing my motive right now so that my motive can, can, can align with your own motive. Father, you just told me 20 people here, Holy Spirit. You're about to touch them. Lord, as my hand is stretched, begin to touch your 20. Let your power come upon them. Wherever they are, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, let your power come upon them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Holy Spirit. More than they can handle. More than they can handle. More than their bodies can contain. Let your power come upon them. Yes, 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 yes. Right now. Begin to touch them. That's the first person, the second. Yes, all the 20 people, all 20 of them. Touch them right now. Touch them right now. Touch them right now. Father, touch them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your power run through someone from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Let their healing be perfected. As I pray for you, begin to talk to God yourself. Open your mouth and speak. He says, you have not because you ask not. Like Hannah, talk to God and say, Father, I need a child. And if you give me a child, I'll give him back to you. Open your mouth and talk to God. Like, like, like Batima, you say that I may see. That I may see, Father. Or oh, like Thomas say, I desire to see him and to put my hands. Let your request be made known. Ayana kabara sihanda. Liyana nabara sihanda barusha. Yes, Holy Spirit, touch them as my hands are stretched forth. Use my hand and touch someone. Use my hand and touch someone. Use my hand and touch someone. Holy Ghost fire come upon someone now. As my hands are stretched forth. Everyone that needs the power of God. Everyone that needs deliverance. Let deliverance. Lord, as the twenty are aligning their desires to your will. As I stretch my hands, I deploy the angels of God 
out in the name of Jesus. Visit the 20 people that God just showed me. God just showed me 20 people. Kayana Kaliana Karasihanda Balarosa, Ekabara Suhanda, Liana Manasihanda Barusha, La Rasiana. Father, let your power fall upon someone. Let your power fall upon someone. Someone, I see your hands vibrating. I see your hands shaking. Someone, I see tears. Tears filling your eyes. That is God telling you, I have been with you all this while. I have been with you all along. How can you think your prayers were not heard? How can you think you were alone? I've been with you all this while. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Holy Spirit is touching someone right now. And I see another person. There's an angel standing right next to you. An angel is standing right next to you. You're going to feel a breeze. A breeze, if, if, I, if I talk and you feel like, uh, uh, and that is happening to you, I want to see the testimony. I want to see the feedback. Someone, there is an angel right where you are. There is an angel right where you are. As I'm talking, as I'm praying, you are going to feel a breeze, a cold breeze rush through you. Iliha nakarasu kalia, rekabara subra shakalia nakabaraswa, reha nakala rasi kalia naka, karia nama nakala rusha, lerosa brahanda manasianda, rekarala rabaya kalia naka, riba rasihanda barusha ka, ara rabaya na 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 na. And I saw someone place their hands like this. And I saw holes on their hands. And I'm asking God, what is that? What is that? And God says, the enemy wants to waste you. So you think your hands are okay. Hands talks about, about your blessings, your finances. And God is saying nothing stands in your hands. It's not like money doesn't enter your hands. But it's just that the money, does, you don't do anything tangible until it finishes it enters and it simply just passes through your hand and you find yourself in the same place where you have been i don't know who this is, but this is a specific word and god says i should pray for you Kali as i stretch forth my hand your hand is getting filled your hand is getting filled up the power of god is overcoming as i pray for you those hands begin to manifest they begin to shake with the power of the holy god that is god filling the hands from today whatever god blesses you with it will not leave you in the name of jesus the blessings of God will not pass through you from today in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessings of God will come into your life to stay. The person that God is told, showing me, if all the money that has entered your hands stayed in your life, you would have been filthy rich by now. But when you look at yourself, you have nothing to show for. Even when you plan for projects, the money will come and it will pass. When the money is finished, that's when you remember that you had projects. Whoever that is, Holy Spirit, I undo the works of the enemy over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I undo the works of the enemy over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Regina, the Lord bless you. MBT, the Lord bless you. Vanessa Brown, the Lord bless you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, Rebrasha Handa Bali Handa. Zika Barusha Ka. Ihana Bala Rasi Handa Barusha. I am. I am. I am missing this place. I am. I am. I am, I am, I am, I am missing this place. I am, I am, I am. There I am, there I am, there I am missing this place. God is here. The I am is here to become that which you need him to be. Oh, Rebara Sianda. Holy Spirit, touch them. We are the twin to give them a sign. 
Sort out the twenty. Let them know that they are one of them. Anyone that is among the twenty, Lord, touch them. Let them know. Give them a sign. Give them a sign. Within the next eight days, let them come back with a tangible testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Someone begin to thank God. Just begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. As you are thanking God, it's time for you to connect. If you feel late in your heart to connect with a seed, this is the right time. You can sow your seed that has two zero and say, I am one of the 20. You can the, the, paint, check the description box or paint on the, on the toolbar. It's my cash up and PayPal. Or you can simply hit on the super thanks. As you are thanking God, tell God, I'm one of the 20. I'm one of the 20. I don't know how God is leading you to manifest your faith. It might just be you giving the video a thumbs up. Tell God, I'm one of the 20. Say, Father, I'm one of the 20. I'm one of the 20. Let my desires be met. Let my desires be met. Within eight days, give me a sign. Give me a tangible testimony within eight days. Give me a tangible testimony within eight days. Give me a tangible testimony. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Caroline, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us, Caroline. The Lord bless you. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you for the 20, Lord. Thank you for these 20 people. Thank you for everyone whose faith says yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you. Thank you. Father, back your word. Back your word. Back your word, Lord. Within the next eight days, give them tangible testimonies to prove to them that you, were, you, 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 you really spoke through your servant. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Someone just begin to thank God. Thank him for his word. Thank him for the prayers. Just thank God. Thank him for what he has done in your life. Someone just begin to thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Brittany, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. And if you're just joining us right now, you might need to go back and replay the whole session. If you are just joining us right now, you might need to go back and replay. If you are just joining us, you might need to go back and replay the whole session. But thank you for joining us. And if this was your first time joining us, the Lord bless you abundantly. I am Pastor Honoring. I'm here at your service. Feel free to join us anytime. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, please do subscribe. I guarantee the word of God that comes here is always strong. It's all, it's, I guarantee it's going to bless you. Feel free to subscribe and do not forget that notification bell. Oh, Caroline, this is your first time. The Lord bless you abundantly. Thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. And also, I have a second channel that I just started. Soul Food and Wisdom Nugget. After this, I'm going to upload a video and post on my community. 
on that channel we just get to share lessons life's lessons that channel this channel is for prophetic word the word of god but that channel is mainly for me to encourage someone share wisdom and life's lessons that i've learned and above all get to share my experiences the things that i've been through i realize there are some things that god passed me through and people are going through it and my experience can encourage someone make them know that oh thank you evelyn you subscribe to soul food and wisdom nugget thank you so much evelyn the lord bless you thank you Please, as, as, as I post the videos, watch, subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, like, comment. It's all very important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, and now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. And may he be gracious to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone who connected by seed on Cash App or PayPal, I connect you to your seat and I decree god will honor your seat of faith you are one of the 20 indeed in the mighty name of jesus amen oh thank you so much family by the grace of god god strengthens me we will be here tomorrow we will be here live tomorrow this same time hallelujah god bless you all have a wonderful 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 day God bless you all. Bye-bye. And I love you all, family. I, if this was your first time, I love you so much. I've been praying for you to join us. And thank God you did today. If you are part of the family, I love you. You should know right now how much I love you. Oh, amen, Martha. Amen. 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 I'm glad you were here, Martha. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. See you tomorrow, family. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.